The Digital Scene Show is sponsored by NewMediaWebinars.com. Free how-to webinars for digital media creators taught by industry professionals. Check us out at NewMediaWebinars.com. Welcome to the Digital Scene Show here at Thank NAB 2010. And you are with Aja? Yes, I'm with AJA. I'm the product marketing manager for AJA. And you are today talking about the Kona card yes. line, specifically Kona 3D, right? Yes, so what we're showing at the show this uh, this year is a number of things. We brought out a bunch of new features for the Kona card, and the Kona card is our card that is used to ingest, to output, to display to high-end monitors. And the card's available in a bunch of different configurations. This particular card that we've shown on this stand is a Kona 3. And we're showing the firmware that's going to be coming out very shortly that allows you to do stereo work. So what does that mean? Well, the card has two SDIs uh, to deal with 4x4 color. Is that kind of bandwidth will right. require it without a 3G connection. Right. So what we've done for folks is instead of having to buy a new card, and there are thousands of Kona users out there, uh, we've turned on uh, stereo to use the dual channel. So all they need to do is to download the firmware when it's available, go into the control panel and look for that stereo button, and that will allow you to output both the discrete left and right eyes if you need it, which is going to be your real 3D workflows, or you can, of course, send out a mux signal like you do today. So the workflow is having Final Cut, having uh, Cineform. This is Cineform codec is what allows you to get through the QuickTime pipe with the 3D imagery and the Kona card. So it's that wonderful combination of things that makes your life really simple, allows you to deal with conversions, allows you to deal with any color correction that needs to be done. Now the main reason you want the Kona 3 is for output to 3D so you can uh, preview, or does it also uh, enhance the speed of, of 3D editing? Yeah, completely enhances the speed of the 3D editing, uh, just like it does with all our regular stuff on Final Cut. Um, and the key thing is, as I said, you, a lot of 3D work right now is on the higher end, uh, which tends to be bigger images, image sizes. Uh, the videos that we've been working on here, a bunch of them I physically produced myself. And those were shot with two red cameras, for instance. So you've got a lot of media to have to chunk through. Sure. And the Kona card certainly helps you out with that. Well, 3D is, is extremely hot this year, especially yes. here at NAB. You even see people interviewing people with 3Ds homemade 3D setups. Right. So that des definitely seems to be the way the market is going, well, right? Well, what's happening with 3D is obviously Avatar launched the public perception. The reality is the industry's been working on it for a while, uh, but we're reaching critical mass now. So what that means is over the next few months, Sony will be bringing out their Bravia 3D monitors. At this show, you got Panasonic showing their 3D camera at an affordable price with a dual lens. Right. And Blu-ray 3Ds are coming as well. Right. Alice and Wonderland's in production right, right now, and even the background scenes are being shot as 3D. So moving forward, uh, Direct TV here in the States is launching a 3D channel. The uh, Soccer World Cup is happening in South Africa, and they're doing 25 games in 3D. It's just going to keep building. Right. Uh, so it'll be a relatively cheap upgrade for people over time, and it will require, if you're going to do it through HDMI, the 1.4 standard, which Obviously right, we're the one very we're aware to carry of right, right now. Exactly. Yes. Now, um, from a bigger picture perspective about 3D, yes. Um, do you think it'll it'll really take off when when there are no glasses? I mean, what's your what do you see from your personal opinion the future of 3D? Because right now, obviously, everybody has to have these really cool high-end glasses to really experience 3D. Well, the glasses are coming down in price for the start, so I'm not particularly concerned about that. There's a wealth of options, and the, the best experience is the polarized glasses. The anaglyph thing that you might have used on some DVDs is not a very good experience because of the color right. uh, imbalance, as far as I'm concerned. Right. But the, the polarized glasses really work very well. There are already LCD screens today that allow you to watch 3D without glasses. The only problem with that is that the angle of view is the, extremely Yeah, they're narrow. very limited. Yeah. Yeah. But that seems to be first iteration, so hopefully that'll improve as yeah, well. Yeah, of course. We'll, now, everything will keep moving forward. Exactly. Now, speaking from the back end, there seems to be a lot of uh, different ways to create 3D, to send it to the monitor. Do you see um, in the future, again, more big picture, a way of uh, standards? Because it doesn't seem to be a standard 
right? I mean, you can send 3D out in three or four different ways, yeah. right? But the, the, if you're producing it, if, you, if you're working with Final Cut today, my recommendation would be to do side by side. Because okay. when it comes to the majority of monitors, they do side by that side. is going to be your, your most common denominator. Uh, right. You can do stacked, you can do interlaced, there are a lot of options, but the reality is if you're going out there right now and you're dealing with monitors, you're going to have your best success with side by side. Side by side. I think you can even get YouTube 3D now, and I think oh, they sure. do side by, there actually is a tagline that you right. add to your YouTube metadata, that, and you have YouTube 3D. I found out about it yesterday right. at uh, Super Meet with Tim Excellent. Dashwood. Mm -hmm. So I, we're, we're definitely going that way. Yeah, Tim, Tim of course, is doing a lot of plug-in work for Final Cut to right. try and make that happen. The guy's a genius. Yep. Yep. All right, and if people want to find out more about the Kona 3D, what you need to do is simply go to our website, and that's www.aja.com. Very simple. And look under the edit section. We break our website into acquire, edit, and convert. Uh, so you'll go to the Kona section, and you'll be able to learn more about 3D. As I said, the software is not here today. We're showing it, but it's going to be here very, very soon. And it's going to be a free uh, firmware Complete upgrade? Complete free uh, upgrade. Okay. So you're not required you're to not buy a new card, right. but it does have to be the Kona 3 out of right. the Kona cards. Fantastic. Well, thank you for your time, Brad. My pleasure. Thank you.